Hello and welcome to the next chapter of Canix Advanced Course. We want to talk about Telegram. It means the packet of data in Canix. It's a quite short chapter, but uh, the knowledge that we are going to learn uh, is asked on the exam. So I hope you will. Uh, enjoy it. My name is Amir and please let me know if you have any questions. Okay, a TP Telegram. We want to talk about general concepts about the Telegram in twisted pair or a packet of data of Canix in twisted pair. When an event occurs, for example, you press the push button in Canix, okay, the bus device send a telegram to the bus or packet of data to the bus. The transmission starts after the bus has remained unoccupied for at least the time period T1. You remember the protocol of CSMA CA. So we need T1. Once the transmission of the telegram is complete, the bus device use the time T2 to check whether the telegram has been received correctly. Okay, so we have the T1 and T2. All address bus device acknowledge the recipient of the telegram simultaneously at the same time. Okay, so uh, you should remember that. But look at the picture here. The book said duration of the telegram is between 20 to 40 milliseconds. So later in this chapter, we are going to cover it. But remember that. The shortest time to send a telegram or, or a packet of data on Canix is 20 milliseconds and the longest time is 40 milliseconds. Okay, and depends on the size of the useful data. So let's go and see the structure of the packet of data or telegram. The telegram consists of bus specific data and the actual useful data. Okay, this useful data. Uh, for example, for controlling the light is one bit on off, or to control the temperature is two bytes. You can control the temperature in Kelvin or centigrade, for example. Or you can uh, send the date and time in three byte data or four byte data, it depends. So the entire information is transmitted in the format of some characters in Canix. So you can see that the format is eight character. Okay. Test data for the detection of transmission error is also included in the telegram. This guarantees an extremely high level of transmission reliability. Later we will see we have the part of check byte. So let's let's see uh, the the part of the uh, packet of data. First we have the control bytes, then we have the source address who sends the data or packet of data telegram target address destination address who receive it routing counter we talk about it in uh, protocol uh, chapter in basic course the links of the useful data useful data and check byte okay so do, don't misunderstand the character with the with the byte so here about the telegram in twisted pair, we want to talk about time requirements. Remember 20 milliseconds to 40 milliseconds? We want to prove it now. The telegram is transmitted at a bit speed of 9600 bits per second. It means one bit occupies the bus for one divided by 9600 seconds or 104 microseconds. A character consists of a 11 bits remember that a character consists of 11 bits okay together with the pause of two bits in the between characters this adds up to transmission time of 1.35 millisecond per character depending on the length of the payload means useful data the telegram consists of 8 to 23 characters so 
it is important to know that if you if your useful data is bigger so it takes more time to transmit the acknowledgement is only one character 11 bit uh, taking into account the priority dependent waiting time of t1 50 bits and the time between the telegram and acknowledgement t2 15 bits a message will occupy the bus between 20 to 40 milliseconds so you can prove it this time a switching telegram including acknowledgement occupies the bus for about 20 milliseconds telegram for text transmission occupies the bus for 40 milliseconds text transmission for example in a hotel room you want to send welcome to the room uh -huh, in the Canix bus or throw the Canix bus we have the acknowledgement in transmission of the data in Canix so because the Canix is like the TCP IP so it's a two-way communication when you send the, send the data so you will receive uh, the acknowledgement of the receiver the receiving bus device check on the basis of the check byte contained in the telegram, the correct reception of the information and acknowledgement, acknowledgement accordingly. If a negative acknowledgement, not acknowledgement, transmission error detected or busy device unable to process new information is received to a telegram sent on a bus, the sender will repeat the telegram. The number of repeated telegram is typically limited to three times. In KNX, maximum, the sender sent the data three times if the sender is not receive the acknowledgement from the receiver this is also the cause when an acknowledgement is missing so if there is no acknowledgement the sender will send, uh, repeat three times telegram great so you remember we have the control field some part of the Telegramming Canix, we want to talk about it. What is the control field? So if one of the address bus devices has returned a negative acknowledgement and the telegram transmission is repeated, the repeat repeated bit is set to zero. In this way, it is ensured that the bus device that have already executed the appropriate comment will not execute the comment again. So uh, you remember we talk uh, about this concept that if the sender do not receive the acknowledgement it sends again okay so in this case maybe the sender sends the telegram to different devices okay different group addresses so some of them are already they, they got it huh so when they got it the repeated telegram some bits is changed in control field so uh, the ones who uh, receive the telegram and execute it they do not execute it anymore okay so we have the you can you can see in the picture uh, one bit is set to zero so it means this is a repeated telegram the required priority also is assigned here so here it is uh, distinguished that this telegram is with a low priority or high or RM or system function okay so the priority and concern about the repeated telegram is fulfilled in the control uh, field part of the whole of the packet of the data tp telegram address we want to talk about address source address and destination address the source address is the physical address of the sender okay for example the sender physical address is 31020 so the source address is 31020 that the device is located in the area number 3 line number 10 and it's a 20s device okay the destination address is the group address during the normal operation of the system okay so for example the sensor sends the telegram to the actuator so the destination address is a group address of the relay actuator okay but during the commissioning or downloading the destination address is a physical address when you download from your PC the target address is the device uh, physical address 
But during the normal operation, the target address or destination address is the group address. So what is a checkpoint? So you remember that in B4, we talk about this concept that uh, the KNX is noise free. I mean, because we want to use the uh, differentiate from plus and minus wire. So we do not care about the noise because the noise is applied on both sides, both polarity and it compensate each other. But in any case, if the receiver do not receive the right telegram because of some noise, what's happening? It's going to um, check and uh, make the data correct. So how it is possible? It is possible through the uh, even odd parity check. Okay, this is some signal processing concept. You can see the receiver The receiver received the character from the or packet of data from the sender. So it's going to calculate in the horizontal way the quantity of number one. So here in the first round we have one, two, three, four, five of number one. If and if uh, in the in the checkpoint is is going to add one, okay, it's going to be six and it's even. Okay, that's fine. It's going to uh, the the receiver is going to check the second row. So here we have one, two, three, one plus one. It's four number one, so it's even. No, that's fine. But in row number four we have one, one, two, but still in a check byte we have one. Oh, something's wrong in this row number four. Okay. So it's going to tell, uh, consider that number number four, this byte has a problem, but it should find uh, the exact bit and change it in the right operation. So it's going to uh, calculate the number one in a vertical way uh, to reach the odd ca counting. So first. Uh, first column we have one two three one plus zero it's three it is odd mm, that's fine but in the second uh, uh, column when it's going to uh, add one plus one two plus one three oh three is odd already there is one so one plus three is four and it is not odd anymore so there is some problem in this column so the conjunction between this uh, row and this column the system can find the problem and change it in the right way so always if you want to see the data who sends the data and who received the data you can go to the group monitoring you can go to ETS number six and then go to DIAC and group monitoring okay for example and here uh, we have uh, the Canis virtual for example we press this button okay we go here you can see this telegram what what said this telegram this telegram is is going to send from some specific time okay the priority is low you know you you uh, you remember that we we talk about the priority it is mentioned in control field then the source address what is a source address this is in our example is 1123 okay from the sender the source name it is assigned great the destination, destination address also it is uh, mentioned in the uh, telegram, okay? And the destination name, so the, the destination is a group address, the source address is a physical address because uh, you remember we click the clicks, okay? The destination name, the routing counter, so here, uh, 
in ETS 6. Its name hope count. This is 6 because it is not uh, go through any rotor or coupler. Okay. And then the importance is, is useful data and this is useful data. It's okay. This is a reset command. This is a one bit reset comment okay and this is a data point time 1.015 in our example so all information that we talk about it in the uh, telegram you can see it in the group monitoring okay thank you so much for and i hope you enjoyed please let me know if you have any questions through my whatsapp or email have a nice day